Hello, I am Kristen and welcome to my channel on healing my body and mind through nutrition, a hundred days of carnivore straight, then a little over two weeks of reintroducing fruits on a more animal based diet to see how my body would react. And that didn't go so well after two weeks. So I went back to carnivore. Before we get started, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, follow along and comment. So this is another update on my pineapple journey because I didn't know if it was either pineapple or just either two weeks of extended eating fruit that was causing inflammation in my body and joint pains. So I did a little test, which if you did not check out that video, go check it out. I ate some pineapple and today's results so far are that I did not eat more pineapple because I've been anxious. So it's more than the normal anxious of a situational situation. Uh, yes, things have derived from work, have come up that can cause me to be anxious because it's just the way my brain works. Um, when things come up and I feel like a little stressed, I get anxious, but this anxiousness is the anxiety that I would have before starting carnivore where I just feel it here in my chest as I'm driving here right before talking to you and it does not go away and it's lingered off and on throughout the day. So I just don't think it's worth continuing to see if pineapple is a trigger. I'm going to note it as if it is. And I do really like pineapple, especially in the summertime when we hang out by the pool, it's refreshing. And I've always heard that it's like a diuretic and it's inflammatory and certain benefits that supposedly you can get from pineapple. But I'm going to go with my body is telling me that it was possibly the trigger to my inflammation and now it's a possible trigger to my anxiety. And so is it worth eating pineapple? I don't love pineapple that much. <laughs> so I'm going to go with a big x no 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 more pineapple for me and continue to be on my carnivore journey and see where that leads yesterday i was feeling really good before having the pineapple and so far um, bowel movements are getting back to normal i have not had bacon so that is something that i'm noting as well today for the first time i tried to make soft boil eggs in my instapot and it came out really good where the yolk was a little softer than usual when I make hard boiled eggs but it wasn't quite a soft boiled egg so stay tuned I am going to perfect this and probably do like a short video to share with you on how to do soft boil eggs in the instapot because I'm determined to get that exact minutes to the exact cracking of the egg where it comes out perfectly and get my hard boiled eggs in soft boiled not hard boiled um i did a little video today i'll clip it here so that you can see it this is my first attempt to doing soft boiled eggs in my instapot so let's test it out and see if i got it right uh, so definitely not as soft as i wanted it but the yolk does look creamy. I will have to definitely try this again. And again, it came out really good, but just not the softness that I wanted inside. I want it to be where it's a little bit yolky, where it kind of comes out almost like a sunny side up egg, not as yolky, if that makes sense. Anyways, now I'm just babbling on. So. <laughs> Cutting it short, so far everything else has been good today. I've had high energy considering that the other thing that I noticed, even though my sleep has not been 100% on point since starting carnivore, before carnivore, during carnivore, with all the in-betweens, yesterday was really, really bad. I just kept tossing and turning. I am sore from my workout, so I don't know if that was part of it. Before carnivore, I would take a um, supplement that was muscle recovery and 
it tasted absolutely delicious but it does have sugar in it and so i am not taking any of those supplements anymore and so i really do feel the difference um, if you have any tips on how to handle muscle soreness through carnivore i would love to hear that i do hear some people saying that while on carnivore they don't even need those supplements anymore they don't feel the soreness but i am definitely feeling the soreness uh it's like waking me up in the middle of the night but aside from that just did not sleep well at all last night so i did wake up a little moody this morning with the baby crying and just knowing that i had to get a lot of work done and when i don't sleep well i am a cranky baby I am like the baby when he's cranky. I, I don't do well. I need good sleep. Sleep is so important for overall health for everybody. And for me, I know that I, it just, I wake up in a bad mood. So I had to kind of refrain myself, get into my work mode, did some work, and I'll probably step outside a little later because I've been stuck in the house all day, get a little grounding, get a little vitamin D. I feel like I need that today. And the only outing that I've done with a little bit vitamin D is through the car to pick up the kids from school. So I am going to say that that does not count. But on to better things. I will continue carnivore and I will keep you posted with updates on do's and don'ts on my journey. Again, I just like to remind you that I'm not a nutritionist or a doctor. I am just recording and sharing with you my journey, my journey alone. Like I always say, there is no one size fits all to nutrition. Every body is different. And so what works for me may not work for you, vice versa. Hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I will see you.